Friday, August 12th. Well, found this of interest. What we're looking at here is a website that shows the declination and movement of planets and our sun and moon. And you can see the legend here very quickly. Here's the moon down here. And you can actually see this. By the way, if you go out and you watch the full moon, oh, well, it's not full moon, excuse me. It's actually past that. But notice where the moon is at. It's primarily in the southern sky, um, very much in the southern sky. And we can actually see that right here 11th to the 19th and it'll get back up but what i really want to show you on this is mars look at this folks watch this this is showing over a six and a half percent plus tilt now, I don't know, should we be concerned? I don't know. I think though seeing um, a neighboring planet, particularly as close as Mars is, that when we begin to see this type of perturbation to its orbit and to its axis, you have to ask yourself what? I'll leave the link to this website so you can uh, follow this as well. Now, I'm sure you all are aware what happened last night in the um, South Indian Ocean with the magnitude 7.1, 7.2, and then the subsequent um, 6.4, I believe. Do you see something here? I do. I see whether you want to call this, uh, it's a vortice, obviously, an earth spot. We find one here where we get a lot of seismic activity. And look over here. Here is where that earthquake took place right here. And what I'm trying to point out to you, I want to show you something. So right here is where that earthquake took place, both of them. All right, so let me just put the cursor away. Now let's just use our observation skills. Remember how we used to do it in school? You observe something, you would get with your group, and then you would begin to discuss what it is that you're seeing, how you can begin to make some definitive uh, determinations of the situation. What I'm trying to point out here is that you can see a clear, and I have no idea what this really is, if it's a pressure line, if it's a separation line, but we can obviously see it. So, just a thought. Now, I wanted to see could we see any correlation with wave heights or with um, something of that nature? And, you know, we can clearly see that. I saw this earlier. Here we go. You notice something here, too? So, just something to show you folks. I think there's something definitely going on. Uh, the jet streams here, uh, obviously, in the Southern Hemisphere are really becoming erratic. Uh, I don't even know what to say anymore over here. I mean, is there something going on here? I've said to you all along, there is something going on in this part of our globe. 
a very active area, and I believe it's just going to continue to get active. Someone said, do you think we've had a pole shift yet? That's a good question. So to answer that question, I believe that we're seeing um, a definitely an escalation in the movement of the poles. I believe that we're seeing all the evidence of what a pole shift would look like. Now, unfortunately, there's no human alive that has been around when one of these events have occurred. At least we have any written record of. But do I think? Yes, I do. I absolutely do. So I want to let you to be aware of, well, as I'm sure you may or not have been aware of, but um, we had a filament snap yesterday. And I think as well, we're going to need to watch this reason, re, region here. Yeah, there's a reason to, for the region. Um, but seriously, uh, this filament that's coming in, they don't know. NASA hasn't really given us much um, support on that as to what's going to happen. But I am telling you, it is something that we all need to be aware of. Um, and here's my limited <laughs> uh, knowledge on this. I keep watching these two areas. Now, this is where if there is going to be any activity, it would be there. And Ben Davidson has the great best website I know for LA. But I am still watching is there potentially a polarity mix between 2576 and 2574-73? Don't know. Should be interesting to watch, though. When we speak about potential solar flares, you really need to be aware of this. We haven't seen anything of a huge uh, X-class flare in a long time. But it is something that you need to be aware of. And if we have more ejecta heading for Earth from this filament snap uh, last night, which, as everyone has been well pointed out, Ben has shown, is that we immediately had those two earthquakes. So correlation, yes. But I just wanted to let you know that you can see here, even FEMA is concerned. And as I've told you before, all of you need to have Faraday cages. You really do. And they're not that difficult to build. I actually had it on one of the videos and left a link for you. Um, but you really need to have a Faraday cage in your home. Um, so you need to think about that. So we've all are familiar with this website. It's the one that gives us the um, sporadic e-readings. But they also have a really good area as well condensed into one spot which you can see now when i see the phi angle be doing this bouncing completely off something it's it's telling us something it's telling us that uh, yeah i mean the magnetic field is going to be in for a shock uh, Real-time telemetry data, you can see. So these are a good spot. By the way, Corona is down, so I cannot actually see what's going on there. So I thought I'd just end it here with what we're talking about in case you missed it. Watch this area right in here. There it is. Did you see it just release and it completely rippled down? That's what's heading for us. Uh, here is Earth. Just put us almost into the center. And there that filament releases. So it'll be here in a couple of days. You need to keep up. This was the coronal hole responsible for the earthquakes yesterday. And of course, we have this massive one that's turning away. Now, someone did ask me if I could show them the photos with the magnetic uh, spread and I can. So when you go to uh, SolarHam here and you want to click on one of these of which we have done, 
And so in this case, let's go over to this we just saw. And so you would hit there, and there you go. And this will actually show you the real-time magnetic uh, lines and activity on the sun. It's fascinating. It really is, because everything in the universe is connected magnetically. It's just a fact. Our bodies, I don't know if you realize it, but your body actually generates its own electrical field. Quite remarkable what we're learning. And I, again, you know, I believe Tesla was so far ahead of his time that his concepts of what back then were considered to be radical, they're still radical today, in fact, are coming true. So I um, hope that helped. And you all keep safe and have a great weekend. And I'll try to get another program out later this weekend.